Hey what's up guys, Paranoid Android just released the latest update for Nougat and I couldn't resist so I flashed it on my OnePlus One. Here's my review. First off, installing Paranoid Android was a breeze. Simply download the ROM and preferred G apps from the official sites, then boot into the custom recovery, wipe system and user data but not internal storage, and then flash the ROM followed by the G apps. After that simply reboot and set up your new device. The ROM itself is pretty much stock Android but with a few exceptions. Like for the launcher it basically picks a launcher but with a different name and many different wallpapers. The browser is also just like Google Chrome but with a few extra features like Web Defender and Secure Connect. But what I like most is that for the music player you get Shuttle Plus which is actually a paid app on the Google Play Store. It's a material designed player with some nice additions like embedded lyrics, equalizer, tag editor, a customizable interface and artwork updater. By the way, the ROM doesn't come pre-rooted but you can also flash the Super SU zip along with the ROM to get root access. Now to the extra features it comes with. Jumping into the settings menu and then to display you can see that there are two new additions. First is pocket detection. It uses the proximity sensor to know if the phone is in your pocket and then blocks user input like buttons being pressed or even gestures being activated. So it can be very useful to prevent your phone from being activated in the pocket. The second feature is a new color engine to theme your device. With this one you get to choose your primary color that is either material blue, grey, pixel or black. You can also select the accent color from a few different color options. It's a nice minimal way to theme your device. Next we have gestures. So here you have many options that is double click the power button to jump to camera from any screen, double tap the status bar to slip, three finger screenshot and many other off screen gestures. Moving on you can also customize the buttons that is toggle between software and hardware keys and even turn off the backlight. You can also choose custom actions for all the keys. But what's new is a feature called accidental touch whereby the system will prevent any interaction with the navigation bar when the screen is in use. You also get pie controls and it looks fantastic with the material design. Swiping from the edge of the screen smoothly brings in the pie along with some extra information. So on the pie itself you get a green outline which shows you the remaining battery life. At the top you get your carrier info followed by the date and time, battery percentage and notification icons. You can customize the pie by choosing the theme that is dark or light and also customize the battery and network indicator. Following that we have ambient display where the screen turns on when you receive notifications, pick up the phone or even wave your hand over it. It works really well that I no longer care how much battery it consumes. And that's all for the extra customizable features you get on Paranoid Android. Now let's talk about performance. So because it's stock and bloatware free it runs butter smooth through the UI. Opening and closing apps with no lag and the memory management is fantastic. I mean the liquid smooth performance just makes me want to open and close random apps for no reason. Since I've installed this ROM I've not experienced any sort of lag or freeze, not even a single random reboot. For performance Paranoid Android gets an A+. But this performance comes at a cost and that is battery life. For some reason Google Play services kept on eating battery in the background and sometimes it consumed up to 15%. I'd never experienced this problem on my previous ROM that was Resurrection Remix. Screen on time is about average that is about 3 to 4 hours but standby time is poor where the battery gets reduced to about 10% overnight. So I barely get through the day with my moderate usage. Overall Paranoid Android is a great ROM especially with performance in mind. You get a liquid smooth UI with no lag or freeze. The two things that bug me though is the battery life and the fact that the camera on Paranoid Android can only record footage up to 1080p but not 4K. Otherwise it brings a fantastic overall experience, so let's all stay paranoid.